Hi guys, it's Dan. Thank you for all my support at the Cartmasters British Grand Prix. It's very much appreciated. It was a really good weekend with top 20 finishes in every single thing. Here we go, and again, if you're watching in Asda, hello, I'll have a croissant please to deliver it to the circuit. Behrman and Hunter, and I'm looking down, oh, and there is, uh, well, wet tyres seem to be the order of the day. Uh, the remaining drivers come to the line. Lights are out, we're off and racing. We're about four or five drivers down from the prescribed 29 carts that we were expecting. However, the rest of them go through on wet tyres, on a drying track, onto the banking through turn number three and onto the bridge. And uh, there goes the number 92 cart behind, beneath the commentary box. It is the pole sitter, Oliver Behrman, who leads. Kai Hunter in the second place. And uh, in the play holder, Tom Adams, who was uh, magnificent in the earlier Junior Rotax race, which was held on slick tyres in appalling conditions. So the... The juniors have had it all. The junior Ro Rotax drivers have had it all today. They've had one race in the pouring rain on slick tyres and another race virtually bone dry on wet tyres. Here's Matthew Higgins, a very smart delivery from a 75 cart of uh, the priority driver. Races of Vision Motorsport for the British Championship, but the Vision aren't here at the moment. Now, to find as smart as it looks, is not going as Matthew Higgins wants it to. Further up the order, there is uh, number 22 of uh, Daniel Parron Smith getting run. I'm just going to have a little look out the window. There's, ah, right, there's one or two drivers, I believe, are on slick tyres. It does look like one or two are on slick tyres. So Matty Hingley, his best lap is a 104.28. Chaz Heighton in cart number 92, 102.6. Eight, so there's the 42 cart and the number 94 battling side by side coming off the bridge. It's Hingley versus Behrman. Hingley, Behrman, Hunter, Adams, Parron, Smith in cart number 22 is up into fourth place, is fifth place rather. Kaisley is next. Then it's Duffel, Jenkins, Egby, Higgins, Ellswood and Brooks, your top 12. Six minutes to go. And, uh, ben Kaisley in cart number 53. And there goes up another place. Well... That is Daniel Parron Smith passing Oliver Behrman for second. And uh, Hingley's on wet tyres, cart number 11. Parron Smith is on slicks in second. Daniel Parron Smith is on slicks in cart number 22. And the number 92 of Chaz Highton also on slicks. Well, Parents with a 102.15. Matty Hingley's last lap was a 104.2. Parent Smith is 2.8 seconds behind him, but he's going two seconds a lap quicker. The battle on screen coming into the second hairpin. Oh, now, Chaz Heighton getting a warning flag. That's probably because he's just tr so much quicker than the other drivers around him. He can't slow himself down fast enough in the corners. There's height in the number nine, 92 cart, passing the number 30 of Will Jenkins. Adams and Hunter. Well, that was the battle for the lead in the first race. At the moment, it's the battle for fourth and fifth. And there's the battle for the lead going across the line. It's not going to be a battle for long. Hingley in the number 11 cart, the ultimate R driver, being chased down by Daniel Parron Smith for the for Pro Train. And the Pro Train driver, number 22. The driver from Swaddling Coat comes off the bridge, takes the lead on slick tyres. Hingley is currently clear of everyone else in second place. Long, long gap back to third. Behrman in third. Eight seconds back is Behrman in third place. So Matty Hingley on wet the same tyres as everyone else, apart from the race leader, pulled an eight-second lead over Oliver Behrman. That is outstanding but now Daniel Parron Smith has got to make has got to keep
making his fingers, toes, and anything else he can get hold of crossed. But it doesn't rain again the next three and a half, four minutes. Here he comes. On to the start finish line. You can see the gap he's already pulled on Hingley. Through the Bruno Ferrari S's. Under the Litchfield Bridge, out onto the banking. Behind Hingley, there's an, a nine second gap back to Behrman. Adams is a further two seconds behind him in fourth. Chaz Hyten, the only other driver on slick tyres, is up into fifth position now. So the second Ultimate R car. So we've got one Ultimate R car on wet tyres having a storming race in second place. We've got the, the second Ultimate R car in currently fifth place, but probably going to be a lot higher sooner or later having a storming drive on slick tyres. Chaz Hyten has passed Tom Adams for fourth. He'll be now closing in on Oliver Beerman. Very, very spread out though. There's your race leader, Daniel Parrin Smith. And there's Adams. Another lap completed for Parrin Smith. Two and a half minutes to go. There's Hingley now across the line in cart number 11 in second. We wait, we wait, we wait. We still wait. We still wait. We have a cup of tea. We still wait. And here's the battle of the third now as Heighton passes Behrman for P3. Daniel Parron Smith for Pro Train completes another lap. His, ta his lap time last time around 61 point, 101.68 seconds. He's four seconds a lap quicker than Matty Hingley in second position. The clock has struck zero. Next time around, we'll see the last lap. Well, Daniel Parron Smith leads by 13 seconds. Matty Hingley in cart number 11 is coming under increasing pressure from his teammate Charles Hyten. That's a good scrap going off into the first hairpin. Will Egby in the middle of that in cart number 77. But here is Hingley in cart number 11. And he gets eaten alive there by Charles Hyten on those slick tyres. So Hyten moves through in the second. The two drivers that gambled on slicks are going to finish first and second in this one. We're on the final lap. Daniel Parron Smith is going to win this by over 15 seconds. Adams is fifth. Sixth for Duffel, seventh for Hunter, eighth for Casey, Maxim is ninth, Jenkins tenth. But there is your race leader lapping the number 78 of Frederick Lubin. Checkered flag comes out. Daniel Parron Smith. The gamble pays off. What a win for the driver of car number 22 for Pro Train. Now we wait. This. Well, I won't say that, but it, this will probably be the biggest victory margin of all this weekend. Chaz Hyten, big thumbs up for Chaz. He finishes in second place. What a drive for Matty Hingley in third. But in tenth place, Will Jake in three quarters of a minute behind Daniel Parrons Smith. Not every day you get a race like that. I had a heat win on Friday. It was amazing. The call was awesome, thanks to Gary at Pro Train Racing. It was a wet track, so it was really slippy at the start. I lost a few places, but then I was storming through once it started to dry. Everyone was on wet, so I was on slicks. It was an easy win by over 15 seconds. But it's going to come down to this. We go into the Mike Wilson complex for the final time. Be Beerman leading from Ellswood. Caisley, uh, Hingley, Jenkins, Hunter, Adams, Babs, Parrin Smith up to ninth. Checkered flag's going to wave, and I tell you what, by the skin of his Nomex, it's Oliver Beerman that takes the checkered flag ahead of Ellsworth. Yep, Ellsworth second, Casey third, Hingley another superb fourth, Jenkins is fifth, Hunter down in sixth, Adams is seventh, eighth is Babs, a good drive there from Taylor and Babs, uh, up into eighth place. Then it was Daniel Parrin Smith, a great result for Daniel, that's his, sec well, his second top ten of the weekend, not quite as good as the race win, but in terms of performance on a level playing field uh, without any tyre choice coming into the equation. That was an excellent drive for the Pro Train Racing driver. In the last heat of the day, I had a ninth place finish, top 10. Really solid result from 15th place. And then in the pre-final the next day, I got knocked off, but I made it all the way back up to 20th from around 30th. Then the final, I started P20 and I made it all the way up to P8. Really good finish. I was really quick, so I'm really happy with the weekend.
Dan, in part for, part for me, I've caught up with Cartmasters resident Jensen Button, Dan Parron Smith from Pro Train. Now, Dan, that was a, a really great judgment call, I think, from you and your dad, Nick, as the carts are coming past us in, uh, in scrutineering at the moment, um, winning by over 15 seconds. What was the, why did you decide to go on slicks? Well, we saw there was a bit of rain coming, but then my team manager, Gary, said, well, we might as well do the gamble because we didn't have a so good qualifying. So we like, store, let's just do it. And then we did it, and uh, it worked out really well for us. And, and to be given the, uh, I think probably from my perspective, the Jensen Button scene of approval is, is, is one of my favourite drivers per personally. But just to have that opportunity to race at PF International, you must be looking forward to the, uh, the finals a little bit later on this afternoon. What's your goal for this weekend? Obviously, everyone wants to win a GT GP plate. Well, yeah, I'm definitely top five, I think, is doable, 100%. Top 10 will be awesome. But, yeah, that GP play I really want, and I think I have a good crack, but it's going to be very hard with a really competitive field. So. Uh. And out of those drivers, who do you think are your chief rivals? Because, yeah, you've, you've had, like, Oliver Beerman, Kayden McQueen, amongst others, who have been very, very consistent and very competitive here this weekend. I think Ben, ben Casley, Will Jenkins, Oliver Beerman and Kai Hunter, they're my main competition, I think. Well, Dan Parron Smith from Pro Train, all the very best of luck this weekend, my friend. Thank you very much. Back to you, Henry. Thank you very much, Alex. And uh, Dan Parron Smith, for those of you that were tuning in on Friday, there was a, a race that uh, was on a wet but drying track. And uh, Dan decided to gamble on slick tyres, came to the back of the grid all the way through, won comfortably the Pro Train racing team. Thanks to Gary Chapman, Tom Longfield, Nick Perrin Smith, and the Marshalls, and Alex at Alpha Live. I'm not out for the next couple of weeks, so thank you for the BRSCC Ford Fiesta Junior Championship for inviting me to watch the DTM and W Series. It's going to be great fun.